All right, in the last video, we learned how to merge overlapping paths using Vector.com. Extremely helpful skill. But now, we need to, I'm adding a second path to the one I already created, right? And I just need to refine it. So I made this with as few anchor points as possible. Now if I double click on it, with any tool other than the, the pen tool, I can see all of these different anchor points. And if I click on those, and if I double click on those, it'll turn them straight. If I double click again, it will turn them into curves. So all of these can be edited. And if I hit Command Z, it will go back in history. <laughs> and if I hold down Command, I can individually adjust curves. Because I think I want that to be a little smoother going through. And then this one, I think I need to add an anchor point and bring it out for the wing. Maybe I added it in the wrong place. Let's try here. Might need to add more than one. This doesn't seem like a complex curve, but it's, it's being a little interesting. Now with this anchor point, I have two curve handles. I can hold down Command and use them. But because I want it to appear smooth, it's better if I hold down Shift and try to alter it while the handles are lined up. Because then it will flow through, flow um, smoothly through them. And then I can adjust it with this curve as well. And this one could be a little shallower. Oh, we got to hold down Command. I'm holding down Shift still. There we go. So there's something just a little weird about this. I'm going to move this. I'm going to find the other anchor on it. Nope, I don't want to add that. Let's play with this curve here. Is there a curve? No, it's all going to be on this anchor. So let's add another anchor. And that gives me a few more curves to play with. And as long as I hurl down shift, that should be okay to keep them nice and smooth instead of getting really wonky. So sometimes curves can be deceptive in how tricky they are to get right. Okay, now that's doing what I want. So sometimes you need more anchor points. Okay, now I'm going to double click on it. I get my properties. I'm going to change its color to black. You can also fill it with a gradient, but we're not going to do that until we learn how to color it. And then I'm going to turn off its border. Right. So that's my shape. Now that shape, minus the sketch, plus my other path shape, that should be my finished logo. But right now they're two separate paths. And I need to merge them together. And where they come together, there might be some weirdness. Though it looks pretty good. There's little things I can fix. But like right there, it looks just a little weird. And that's because that's where one picks up and the other goes away. So what do I do? I click on one. Not double click, just click. And you'll get a box around it. Then I hold down shift and I click on the other. But I have to make sure the other one is unlocked. Right? There's a few things I can do at this point. If I'm cautious, I might copy both of them. So command C. And then I might paste both of them. Command V. And so what that does is it It makes a copy of both of them that I'm going to turn off and lock so that now when I merge my original ones that are unlocked and I mess up somehow, instead of hitting Command Z, I have their component parts elsewhere. Now, when I have them both selected holding down Shift, 
I get my Pathfinder options. And I'm going to add them together. So now they are one path. If I double click, those are all the anchor points that make up this vector. And this was where it was a little weird because I want to hold down shift and smooth that out. Simple as that. Here's one where that path can be merged in. Here's one where this path can be merged in and just tidied up. That was from connecting the beak. See, are there any other weird spots? This anchor point, I'm going to hold down shift. Yeah, it just needs, needed to drop a tiny bit to smooth out. So it was looking just a little weird. So the way you get kind of a nice, smooth, finished result is by not having too many anchor points. So I'm checking all the corners, all the edges. If I want that point to be smoother, I can use the rounding tool and round it out. But that doesn't give me a lot of control. So better yet, to turn it into curves and then have full control of each curve with either command or shift. And then I can round it out in a way that I decide is what I want. Instead of having that little point at the end of it. I decide how, how rounded it should get. This, let's see, it's just on the side of the curve. So I'm going to design it here so that the curve is not coming from this point. Ah, come on. Command Z, Command Z. All right. I actually got to work with this curve. Hold, ah, command C. <laughs> this is where vectors can be a bit of an issue when you're fine tuning. Wait, how long ago did I command Z? Shift command Z will redo, 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 redo. Oh, but this is before I merge them. So let me merge them. Darn it. And this would be a good time to save. But it's where you're fixing this stuff. Double click to see the anchors, click on the anchor to see the, the handles and the anchor points. Hold down shift to smooth out transitions. You can layer one anchor on top of another, like in these places. You can adjust the curve. You can double click and change curves to straights or double click and change straights to curves. Hold down command to control where they go. So I'll change this, come on, there we go, into curves, then hold down shift and round it on both sides so it doesn't come to such a clear point. And then this one, which has its point off to one side, it's going to get all weird if I use the rounding tool. So I have to use the handle, but then hold down command and bring this one back because I don't need that handle. So always understanding the properties. Oh, I got to keep holding command to adjust one handle without adjusting the other. And now I can bring that point kind of to the center again.
and looking it over. This curve still bugs me a little bit. Let me just hold down shift and tilt that wing a little, maybe move this anchor point up and out. That looks better. All right, and now I have on one path, Trying to turn these off. <laughs> oh, I've locked them. Let me unlock them. On this one path here, on top of my sketch, I have my clean vector. So I turn off my sketch, and I want to save the work if I'm happy with it. And it definitely matches my sketch. I guess if there's anything that this should be a little curvier, so I can fix that. That's easy enough. I could try rounding it now if I wanted to. Then I can just move that, that point out. Whoop, not too much. Hold space bar. Just so I can show you how the rounding tool works, I can use it that way. And I can work between the straight and the round. But at any point I can also use command and play with these curves. Which I think is kind of nice. And I can always just use these curves as well. So you really do have control of everything. Yeah, let's round it out more. Holding down shift so that curve stays nice and then move it down over the top of my sketch. There we go. Now do I want it to come to a fine point here? Maybe not. Maybe I want to do the same thing here. But it might be easier to just add another anchor point. Move this one back a little bit because it's got a big curve of that wing as part of it. And then I can use, ah, if I hold down command, I can use this other side to help round out that point. So it's really the fine tuning that's that's tricky. But it's all possible. Getting that kind of subtlety to, to every curve is the tricky thing. And when you turn off your sketch, it should just be really clean, should really scale nicely. It's still very recognizable at small sizes. And then you know you are ready to save it. So to save it, I'm going to export and first download it as a vector file. Download. It's page one. I was hoping it was going to retain my, my name, but it didn't. If I change it to an SVG, and then I download it again, then I need to update my files in my folder. So file organization, always important. So I'm going to 